Welcome to the Teledynamics video training series for the UCM 6300. Here are the topics being covered today. For simplicity, I've added a table of contents in the description below, allowing you to jump to a particular content section of the video. Now, let's get started. The first step is to log into the GUI of the UCM. Today, I'll be showing you how to create an outbound route to direct outbound calls to various destinations. Go to Extension Trunk and click on Outbound Routes. You can either click the Add button or, in our example, edit an existing route. Our example was set to dial out our SIP trunk with a wildcard match of any number. This is not recommended as it opens the system up to international and toll dialing. Instead, you want to use dial patterns, like in our example, for 10 and 11 digit dialing. Hover your cursor over the word pattern and see a description of what the characters selected here represent. Make sure your extensions have at least the same or higher privilege level. Otherwise, they will not be able to use this outbound route. And finally, select the trunk or trunks to use. In our example, we will primarily use the SIP trunk, but will fail over to the analog trunks if SIP is unavailable. As always, save and apply your changes. Next. Create a new outbound route for just dialing emergency numbers like 911. This route should not have any privilege level other than internal, since all phones should be allowed to dial 911. After saving, make sure you move this emergency route up to the top of the outbound routes list, as dial matches work from the top down and will match the first outbound route from the top. Remember to save and apply changes. Another topic for today is how you can select a different trunk to dial out of. In our example, we will be adding a 9 to select our analog trunks to dial out. Add an outbound route and put a 9 in front of the dial patterns you'll use. Select the privilege level and trunk to use. Then, put a 1 in the strip field to strip one number, in this case the 9, from the front of the dialed number. This will keep the UCM from sending the first digit 9 to the analog trunk carrier. Save your changes. The last topic for today is to cover an often asked question. How do I send star 72 to my analog lines for call forwarding? Since the star character is used by the UCM for feature codes, you have to substitute dialing star 72 with something else to get the UCM to send the call to the analog trunk. In our example, the pattern is 97 dot. This will allow you to dial a 972 or 973 to enable or disable telco call forwarding. The 9 will be replaced by the star using the strip and prepend features. Once saved, you will want to move this outbound route up in your list of call routes, as our outbound analog route would match first and keep the call forward route from being used. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like and subscribe buttons below. The voiceover service featured in this video has been provided by me, Allison Smith of the IVR Voice. 
Contact me today for your customized IVR and voice services needs. If you have questions or need additional information about the topics covered in today's video, please contact your Teledynamics salesperson or contact us using the information provided here.